Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. And as you guys can see, we got some new throwback playoff moments. Trey Burks, a diamond, a pink diamond, Keith Van Horn, three Galaxy Ovals, Elton Brand, Alex English, and D'Angelo Russell. Alex English, I was just talking about over the week. I needed an update. And look at that. We already got a new one. I think it's pretty cool. But one thing I do want to say is I don't think D'Angelo Russell ever made the playoffs when he was on the Lakers. So I don't know why they use this image and if I'm wrong correct me But also even if they made the playoffs, I don't think he did too well, but you know it is what it is So first off we have the galaxy. Oh, I said galaxy Opal, but I'm in Trey Burke who is Basically going to be just a worse version of Tracy McGrady and Trey Burke and I said Trey Burke and DeMar DeRozan is basically gonna just be like Allen Iverson because Allen Iverson also has a Trey Burke base um, he has a 91 mid-range, 95 three-point shot, and 89 free throw. Also has a 94 driving layup, only a 75 driving dunk, a little bit low, but a good 84 post fadeaway. Good 94 ball handle, some great playmaking, 95 speed, small accelerations, a 98 stamina, decent rebounding as well, an 84 steal, good 71 interior, 94 perimeter, 94 lateral quickness, definitely not bad. For the badges that we have that are insane, um, we have acrobat, consistent, contact, finisher, giant slayer, pro touch, also gold fancy and slithery, pretty nice. For the good shooting badges, we have Catch and Shoot, a Dead Eye, Green Machine, a Quick Draw, Range Extender, Volume Shooter, Flexible Release, also Gold Hot Start, Hot Zone Hunter. For Playmaking, we have Hall of Fame, Ankle Breaker, Dimer, Bailout, Downhill, Floor General, Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Tight Handles, and Unpluckable. Also, for some reason, Dream Shake on a PG. I don't really get it, but it is what it is. <laughs> Defense slash Rebounding, Pickpocket, Clamps, Interceptor, Off Ball, Pest, Trapper, also Gold Picked Under Pogo 6. So, pretty nice card, but... The thing about Trey Burke is, yes, his base is amazing and it's going to be super money, super clean, but he is six foot, only six foot, which I think for a lot of people is basically a done, no deal at this point of the year, but it means he's going to be super cheap and he's probably going to be one of the more fun six foot guys to use. Could be really nice. Uh, next we have Pink Diamond Keith Van Horn, another one of the cards that I think is going to be super slept on, but is going to be super nice, like such a nice card, and that is obviously because he's a 6 foot 10 small forward power forward with really nice jump shot, it's super clean, super nice, so definitely a card that I would look at picking up at least if you need, you know, kind of a little bit of a tweener. Has a 95 mid range, 96 3 point shot, a 90 free throw, 87 driving layup, an 80 driving dunk, actually pretty good in some decent post game as well. Has an 86 ball handle, some decent playmaking, so he can speed boost, which is good. An 89 speed, 87 speed ball, 89 acceleration, a 98 stamina, 92 offensive, and 93 defensive rebounding. Has a 90 lateral quickness, 89 perimeter defense, an 80 interior, and an 84 steal. Not bad at all. 36 off badges, only missing one hot zone that's in the midi, so it was fine. We got all the three pointers, that's all we need. For his good Hall of Fame badges, we have Relentless Finisher, Consistent, Contact, Fancy Forward, Pro Touch, Slithery, also Gold, Giant Slayer, and Back Down. Definitely not bad. For the good shooting badges, this is where he's going to shine. Just shooting is always Keith Van Horn's thing in 2K. Um, corner Specials, Catch and Shoot, Dead Eye, Green Machine, Hot Start, Hot Zone Hunter, Quick Draw, Range Extender, Volume Shooter, Flexible Release, also Gold Deep Fades. Ain't too bad to have either. Playmaking, we have a downhill handles for days, quick first step, space creator, unpluckable. Also have a gold ankle breaker, dimer, tight handles, and bailout. Definitely not bad. And defensive slash rebounding in box, clamps, interceptor, pogo stick, rebound chaser, worm, cold rim protector, uh, pick dodger, interceptor, and a trapper. Keith Van Horn, again, I'm telling y'all, looking like a beast. Good stats, good animations, actually a pretty decent jump shot as well. And again, he's a 6'10 small forward, power forward, so how can he not love that? Uh, next, we have the Galaxy Oval D'Angelo Russell, a 6'5 point guard shooting guard. Not too bad, but again, the thing with D'Lo is his release is a little bit slow. I'm going to check real quick, but he does have half quick draw, so that could be great for him. But D'Lo has a 97 mid-range, 97 three-point shot, a 94 free throw, a 96 driving layup, 80 standing dunk, 90 driving dunk, and 88 post fadeaway, 98 bull handle with some insane playmaking, a 96 speed, a 95 super ball, and a 96 acceleration, 98 stamina, pretty good rebounding as well, a good 94 lateral quickness, 91 perimeter, 75 interior, 89 steel. So I think as, a, as far as PG goes, definitely not a bad card by any means. Um, the one thing that always holds D-Lo back, though, is his animations. His dribbling animations are amazing, but his shooting usually ain't it. But 45 Hall of Fame badges for the good ones that we got. Acrobat, Consistent, Contact, Fancy Footwork, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, and Silly Finisher for shooting. We have Catch and Shoot, Clutch Shooter, Dead Eye, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Hot Start. Um, quick draw, ring extender, volume shooter, and flexible release for our good playmaking ones. We have ankle breaker, lob city passer, a dimer, bailout, downhill, floor general, handles for days, needle thudder, quick first step, tight handles, and unpluckable. And we also have pickpocket, clamps, interceptor, 
pogo stick all on hall of fame also i have a gold pick dodger and intimidator again d -Lo looks amazing looks like he could be a really insane card the only thing that ever holds d -Lo back is his jump shot animation and i think that's gonna be the case with this probably going to be a pretty cheap opal if i'm being honest um let's see let's move it over next we have a galaxy opal alex english a six foot seven small forward and i'm so glad they had my two guards that's gonna make him super usable and super fun honestly um just looking like a really nice card as a 98 mid-range 94 three-point shot and 94 free throw 98 driving layup 85 standing dunk 95 driving dunk has a 82 post hook and 94 post fadeaway has a 93 ball handle, some insane playmaking, 94 speed to one acceleration, 98 stamina, a good 95 offensive and 96 defensive rebounding, an 88 steal, 80 interior, 89 perimeter, a 90 block, and a 91 lateral quickness. This Alex English card actually looks insane. Let's check out some of his Hoff badges. Has 44 of them Hall of Fame. Acrobat Runless Finisher, Lob City Finisher, not bad contact, Fancy Footwork, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, and Celery Finisher, Shooting, Corner Specialist, Catch and Shoot, A Dead Eye, Green Machine, Hot Start, Hot Zone Hunter, Quick Draw, Rain Center, Volume Shooter, and Flexible Release. For our playmaking ones, we have Ankle Breaker, Downhill, Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Tight Handles, not bad. Also, Gold Dimer, Bailout, Needle Thutter, and Unpluckable. For his defense slash rebounding ones, we have Pickpocket, Clamps, Interceptor, Off Ball Pest, Pogo Sick, Trapper, also Gold. Pick Dodger, Intimidator, and Rebound Chaser. Actually pretty nice. And usually, Alex English is just a reskinned Carmelo Anthony most of the time. It could be a little bit different this year, but I don't remember it being. So we should have some pretty nice dribbling animations. Should have a like Carmelo Anthony jump shot or one like Wilson Chandler. So could be a really amazing card. And I think Alex English could be actually a pretty fun and pretty cheesy one. And last but not least, we have the Galaxy Opal Elton Brand, who... Honestly, I'm usually never a fan of and it looks like this one only is a 78 three-point shot So in my opinion only he's not looking too great at first and he's only a six foot nine power forward as a 95 mid-range a 78 three-point shot and 88 free throw 85 driving layup 98 standing dunk 95 driving dunk a 95 post hook 94 post fadeaway good 84 ha ball handle with great playmaking and 86 speed speed wall and acceleration 98 stamina 97 offensive 98 defensive rebounding and 84 steel 91 interior defense 95 perimeter defense a 94 block 86 lateral quickness and for his Hall of Fame badges has 45 of them, a little bit low, and is only has one three-point hot zone as well. That's a little tough. That's a little tough. But for his good Hall of Fame badges, we have Acrobat, Lob City Finisher, Consistent Finisher, Contact Finisher, Fancy Forward, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, and not bad. For the shooting, we have Corner Specials, Pick and Popper, Catch and Shoot, a Dead Eye, Deep Fades, Green Machine, Quick Draw, Volume Shooter. Also has a Gold Hot Zone Hunter, Hot Start, Ranging Center, and Flexible Release. I don't know why a guy with a 78 3 has a gold range, but is what it is for playmaking we have post bend break starter quick first step downhill also gold handles for days and unpluckable for our defenses last rebound and we have a brick wall a box a rim protector clamps intimidator moving truck pogo stick post move lockdown rebound chase a worm and also gold pick dodger interceptor and a tireless defender so if i'm being um 100 honest and looking at um a lot of these cards what i think is going to be the case is i don't think Elton Brand, Trey Burke, and D'Angelo Russell are going to be all that crazy. I think the two words are definitely D'Lo and Trey Burke, but I think um, in order it goes Elton Brand, Keith Van Horn, and Alex English. Um, a lot of the people that are DBG fans are saying that this guy is a cone, but ah, cone means you can just shoot the three and play some defense, and that's about it. But Alex English should have some good dribbling animations, will have a really nice jump shot, and I think will be a great card overall. So could be a really nice card to just try out and have some fun with. Elton Brand could be great with a three-point shoe and a floor general boost and a coach boost as well because he will get that power forward. So could have an amazing three and be a nice shooter, but I don't really know. It all depends on the animations. We'll have to see when they come out. Probably won't be able to get any gameplays because I have some, some stuff that I think. I have some stuff that I have to do today. There we go. Um, so might not be able to get any gameplays out, but I will do my best to get back here as fast as I can and record some of those for you guys. Um, yeah, like if you guys did enjoy, comment down below what you guys think of these cards and subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that road at 26.6K. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in the next video.